All this right, is... so enter Afro Bison. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I always wanted to say that. Anyways, welcome to the Buffalo analysis for Ultra League Premier Cup and for, yeah, for Ultra League Premier Cup, Buffalo. Afro Bison here, the one with, yeah, Afro, oh my gosh, I, I can't take this seriously. Okay, give me one second, guys. Deep breath. Okay. All right, let's get serious. So, Buffalan is one of those weird regional mods that you can only get, I think, in, like, New York. So, if you were able to get one, that's awesome. Now, the thing about Buffalan is that it's really interesting because it maxes out so high. So, the reason why it's so good for Ultra League, because it maxes out 2797. So, it's pretty high leveled when you power it up. And also, normal is a really great type because of one of two things. One, you're only weak to fighting. And two, you double resist ghosts. So you don't really have a lot of weaknesses. And like I said, you double resist ghosts. So those Snorlaxes for Ultra Premier, you're gonna, Licks don't do anything to you. And for Drift Blims, yeah, it doesn't do much at all. And if Gengar does not have Focus Blast, you are pretty safe as long as you call the baits. But remember, you're weak to fighting, so Focus Blast hurts. So make sure you show Focus Blast. Anyways... Buffalan is really interesting because it's what it has. The reason why it's really interesting is because it has Mudshot. Mudshot generates energy really quickly. It's nine energy, so with nine energy per shot, it's a two-turn move. It's one of the fastest charging moves in the game. Couple that with a pretty weird but diverse move set like Stomp, Skull Bash, Earthquake, and Megahorn, you got something that's really freaking good for Ultra Premier, and it can function as a great save switch. Like I mentioned before. It maxed out pretty highly, and its stamina is actually pretty high too. So that means Buffalant's pretty. Buffalant can take some hits. Now the only hard thing about Buffalant is that you can only get it in a certain area. So like I said, New York. So I would be really like if you have one, that's awesome. If you don't have one, that kind of sucks. You might see it run around. You might not, but it's definitely an incredibly great safe safe switch just because of what it can flip. Also, it it, it has an afro. It. If I see this launch into me in Ultra Premier, I'd be like, that's a, it's a buffalo. It's a buffalo. Uh, 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 that's a buffalo. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. It's a buffalo. Kind of expensive to get, but like I said, you can only get a certain, at a certain area in the United States. So, like, not everyone has one, unfortunately. But it's also really good for Premier Cup, and we're going to find out why. Alright, so y'all want to see where Afro Bison goes in Ultra League Premier Cup in the rankings? Well, Afro Bison overall ranks at number 35. So, it's pretty high up there. It is really interesting because I haven't seen a mon that does so bad and well, it doesn't do super bad, but like it's like not that great in the other two positions, but it's a hundred percent in the switch. I'm guessing because it's a, it really takes on the meta really well. Because anything that can beat Swampert, Snorlax, like if like Galati is a really common save switch, you also have Alolan Muck is also common, like in some teams too. So you do you this is very it's it has a really interesting profile let's put it there buffalant is really interesting it has a great move set like i said much shot charges fast zen headbutt stomp earthquake mega and skull bash you get stabbed with skull bash and it's just really really it's like super interesting max is out at level 37.5 so kind of expensive so i kind of would i would definitely take a look and see like if you if you have one then I would think about using it because, like I said, it almost maxes out. Very high stamina, high defense, high stamina, high attack, like high defense. High it's it's good, okay? It's really good. So, anyways, you look at the battle data. It wins 70% matchups. It's really freaking good. Stomp Skull Bash. You can also use other things, I believe. So, here's Stomp Skull Bash. Now, if you use Mega Horn, as you see, Mega Horn and Earthquake do drop its effectiveness quite well. As you see, it loses a lot of matchup energy. But I do agree that Skull Bash is probably its best one because you get stabbed with both moves. Just be really careful because you do get walled by Ghost do wall you. I mean, you wall Ghost, but they also wall you. And at the same time, you, you will still see things like Empoleon, etc. running around. So just be mindful of that. Anyways, Afro Bison's ultimate switch. I'm going to call it Afro Bison. I, I think it looks super cool. Because, like, it has such a unique design, and I like, I, 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 I'm, I like food, okay? So, that's why I call it Afro Bison. Bison burgers are amazing. If you had Af Bison burgers, I definitely recommend you have them. But Afro Bison sounds really funny, and I really like the name for it. I love Afro Bison. And it literally says, if you look at the Pokedex entry, it literally says it has an Afro. So, Afro Bison it is. So, Afro Bison beats 
Venusaur, Gyarados, Snorlax, Charizard, and Swampert in the Switch. So it's the number one safe Switch in the Ultra Premier Cup. Now, I really think this is factual. You see a lot of Venusaurs. Gyarados is used as a safe. Gyarados and Snorlax are really popular safe Switches. At the same time, you see a lot of Swamperts too. So you'll lose, your key losses will be against like Fighters and Pseudo Fighters and also Driftlin. But at the same time, like you, you're very strong against a lot of picks. Buffalo Lance matchups as a switch. Like I said, if you haven't didn't see before, it rates very, very strongly in the one shield, winning 89% of its matchups. 89. That's a lot. For something to be to rate kind of weirdly in the other two ones, but it does so well in and the switch position. That's really that's kind of rare. And it's really good. Like, I do definitely recommend you use Buffaland. If you are if you have one, you're considering it. At the same time, just be careful. Machamp, Excavalier, Polyrath, Obscoon, and Driftblim are plenty too. So as long as you can keep Buffaland away from them, even then, it's like, it's really... So if you see Buffaland switched into you, Buffaland can... Buffaland can actually win in the 2 to ones or up 2 shields. Okay, so it's kind of bad. Yeah, it's kind of bad. So, yeah. Just... I mean, you'll still lose up a shield, so just keep in mind if you do lose the lead and get a fight. Well, that's with Snorlax too. Like you don't like it's pretty much like Snorlax, so it's a better version of Snorlax. But Snorlax ranks in the Switch at number eleven. So Buffalant, and you kind of beat the same matchups as you see here. You'll beat like pretty much the same matchups, except you lose against Swampert, Polyrath. You'll yeah, Buffalant can beat Venusaur and Swampert, and. Snorlax can't so that's why Buffaloan is really good yes there are fighters but as long as you can avoid the fighter and you don't get a switch switched into you then you're pretty Buffaloan is looking to be one of the is it like factually is the best switch in the game plus Mudshot like I said Mudshot generates energy quickly Mudshot generates nine freaking energy per shot and it's two turn move really really fast and also let's see for stomp let's see stomp stomp is 40 energy so five so it's it's basically like it's not a it's like a hydro cannon not in terms of damage but definitely in terms of like speed stomp is stomp and skull bash are very very fast so just keep that in mind buffalant is a force to be reckoned with and the sweet all right i got afro bison here and afro bison is in the matrix i put all three versions in here so whether or not you want to head but head, you want to face them head on you want to move the earth or if for some odd reason, I don't know how... You, well, it makes sense on how you have Mega Horn, but you know, it's a Bug-type move. A anyways, Afro Bison has a very versatile moveset. It's definitely recommended that you use a Stomp, Stomp Skull Bash. Just because you get stabbed and Mudshot generates so much energy. Now, I'm going to analyze the two shield first. So we're going to go to the two shield and then we're going to go ones and zeros just as usual. Just how I always do it. Premier Cup meta, we're in the Ultra Leg. Okay, we fire. And then we get the results. So the Skull Bash Stomp variant is what you need for the Switch. However, I put, like I said, I compared all three of them just, in, just so that you can take a look at all three. You beat Obama Snow. Well, you lose against Obama Snow, but you beat the Shadow Woman Skull Bash and you beat it with Mega Horn because grass is weak to bug. You beat Ampharos and you beat Charizard. That's pretty huge because even though, even though Charizard does resist you, you're able to just... I think you can bait it with Stomp and then Skull Bash like destroys it. Yeah, so you bait it with Stomp. And then Skull Bash just really freaking hurts. In fact, if you hit Skull Bash, you do 111 damage. That's a lot. That's a lot. So you take a majority... If the Skull Bash lands, it's going to hurt. So you're very prompted to shield if you're Charizard. But if you do have Afro Bison and you do charge against a Charizard, I don't think they'll know what's going on. So just keep that in mind. Or they might shield in general just because they're scared of what you have. So just keep that in mind. Now, the interesting thing is you beat Electrovire with the Skull Bash variant, but you lose in Empoleon because Empoleon's steel type. Now, the thing about this is, is what's interesting is that you actually beat Empoleon with the other two variations. So, is how do you beat it with Megahorn? Okay, so I'm pretty sure you can beat it going... Can you beat it just going straight Stomp? Okay, so you can... Yeah, that's really interesting. Do you beat it with Meg? Because a Mega Horn doesn't get stabbed. So if we just go straight stomp against Empoleon, what happens? Okay, yeah, this is awkward. I'm gonna here. I'll run this sim real quick, or I'll run it. What do, does Mega Horn do? Like extra damage or something like that? Oh, it's because Mega Horn's less energy. So Mega Horn get like you'll beat it just because 
Megahorn does that little bit of chip damage you need to KO. Like, literally KO. That little bit of chip damage. And then Stomp finishes it off. Okay, so I see. So you double shield, Megahorn, and then... Wow, that's really... That's kind of... That's rough. That's a rough simulator. But you do lose against Napoleon, so just keep that in mind. You can probably take a Hydro Cannon, and then... You can... Yeah, you could take a Hydro Cannon. Or in Poli... Wait, no, not the Charizard. Hold on. Give me one sec. I heard this. Let's see. Yeah, you can take a Hydro Cannon. So you definitely can take a Hydro Cannon. So, like, you could play this out, but just be careful. Excavalier beats you just because every every fighter will basic every fighter pretty much beats you just because of how oppressive like you you don't live very much to lay like, a lot. Buffalo isn't. If you look at the comparison, he's not super thick. So like if you do go against Galade, like one 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 close combat will send your soul to the next universe. Or actually, they could just go straight leap blade. So just be really careful. Some mons have really strong matchups, especially it looks like it's because it gets outpaced. So mons that will outpace Buffalat will lose to it, like Galate. Because Galate with Confusion gets the Leaf Blades, and Leaf Blades will chunk down. So Galate can just go straight Leaf Blade. Excavalier, pseudo counter user, will hit you really hard, so just be careful of that. You do beat Honchko and Lapras with the Skull Bash variant. And you beat it with the Earthquake variant too, but you lose it with the Mega Horn. So... Keep in mind that what the moveset you pick will flip certain matchups. So just decide which one you want to cover. However, it looks to be like Skull Bash covers flips a lot of matchups. Yeah, Skull Bash seems to flip a ton of matchups. So Skull Bash looks to be the reigning king. However, there's some interesting things. And some interesting things are with the Earthquake variant, you can beat Napoleon. You could also beat Scizor. So you do beat some steel elements with the or with Earthquake. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, Skull Bash seems to beat a lot of all the movesets seem to beat like some like certain matchups. Like Magazine loses to all three. So does a little so does Amok, Slowbro, and Snorlax. But it looks like the Megahorn variant loses against Snorlax, so just keep that in mind. But if you are looking at this guy, 90% of you, I can only imagine, are going to run the Skull Bash variant. And I do recommend to you because with that extra plus one defense, Buffalant can get some extra chip damage for what comes in next. And because Mudshot generates so much energy, it only takes five Mudshots to get to a stomp. You can probably get another move in, depending on what they throw into you. Here's the One Shield. In the One Shield, you beat Obama Snow. You lose against the Shadow version, so just keep that in mind. You beat Ampharos. You lose against Charizard. Well, actually, you don't lose. You go neutral. So it looks like Charizard, it looks like you will simultaneously knock each other out. And I think it's because like you Dragonfly each other or something like that. Let's take a look at this in. Let's take a look at this. Where you, what happens here? Okay, so Blast Burn just, just yeets you to the next dimension. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Your apple will burn up to living to... Your apple will burn if you get Blast Burn. So just be careful of Buffalo. Clefable, you beat Clefable. You lose against Dragonite in the ones. Remember, you are able to beat Dragonite in... You are able to beat some of these matchups in the twos, but just remember what you don't beat in the ones. For example, you don't beat, like, Electrovire. You do beat this one. You can be ele you beat Electrovire in the ones as well, but... Your matchup for Empoleon sucks. Actually, I think Earthquake is the only thing that beats Empoleon. Because what you do is you bait, and then you Earthquake. You also beat Galade. You'll still beat Galade. You'll still beat Gengar. You lose against Honchko really hard. Because I think it's because of Mudshot. And you lose against Lapras now. So in the two shield, you can beat Lapras. In the one shield, you lose against Lapras. So just keep that in mind. You lose hard against both versions of Machamp. Just because the Machamp just hits so hard in this meta. And it looks like you still beat Magnezone, and you still beat Amok. And you beat Scizor with the Earthquake Fairy. You still beat Slowbro, Snorlax. You beat a lot of, like, new... And you beat Vote versions of Swampert in the one shield as a switch. So that's why... I'm guessing that's why it's the most powerful switch. There are very relevant matchups here that you flip. For example, Obama Snow, Ampharos, Galade, Ga Galade Magnezone, Amok... And Snorlax and Swampert too. So you flip a lot of safe switch matchups in the one shield as a switch. So just keep that in mind. And it looks to be in the in the switch. Buffalant is really going to smack the yeah. You're, wow, it's actually it's pretty good. So with, with its ability to beat so many other safe switches in many scenarios, it looks like Buffalant is an amazing switch for Ultra League Premier. Now we're gonna take a look at the close. All right, so here's the zero shield. So in the zero shield, this is the closer, which is zeros. I ran this in for Buffalant, and it looks like Buffalant 
is it very strong in the closer? As we analyzed in the rankings, it looks like in the closer, Buffalant's kind of weak. So you beat Obama Snow, you lose against Shadow, you also lose against Aphros and Charizard, which can also be in the closer. You lose against, you beat Clefable, you beat Electrovire. Of course, you're going to beat Gengar, and this time you beat Honchgrove. Why? Do you stomp it to, do you literally curb stomp it to death, or do you bash its face into oblivion? You, you in fact, uh, you actually, okay, so verbs, and then you bash its face to oblivion. You do 302 damage? Holy mother of mercy. What? What if you just go straight sky attack? Dang, okay, I, okay, that does a lot of damage. Sweet, jeez, man. So one skull bash does yeet the poor dark bird to oblivion. Just, yeah, ouch. Ouch, that does a lot of damage. Oh god, that does so much damage. You beat Lapras, you lose against Machamp, of course, but you lose against Magnezone this time. I think if you have energy advantage, you can flip this around. For example, let's say you have like 27. Yeah, so I think if you do have some energy advantage, so let's see. I think that's if you do have a little bit, let's say you got like three mud shots in for 27 energy. I'm thinking this might actually flip the matchup. Yes. So as long as you have extra energy, you can actually do some, you can actually win, you can actually flip this matchup. So with, yeah, so with Magnezone, as long as you have some energy, you can actually flip the matchup and win. For, yeah, for the, yeah. And it doesn't look like Walter, yeah, Walter does not OKO, so just keep that in mind. You beat Lolan Muck, you beat Scizor, Slowbro, Snorlax, Shadow Snorlax, and Swampert. Okay, so you do beat some very good matchups, and you beat Togeus. So, like I said, there are some matchups in the zeros, like particularly like some common closers are probably going to be Swampert. I see Swampert a lot. Beating Swampert's really good. Beating Togekiss is really good as well. You lose against Excavalier, Drifflim, Dragonite, etc. But and Ampharos. Ampharos is another popular closer for I've seen. But you beat a lot of other things. So Buffalant isn't that bad in the closer. Like I said, it's like C-rated, but Buffalant is actually, it's actually it it does easy. So that's the zero shield. Now what if you have shield advantage? So this is with my favorite scenario. If you have a shield, what do you beat? So with a shield, Buffalant beats everything but Driflim, Excavalier. Driflim, I'm guessing because of Ghost, you you dealt, you literally hardwall because it, it it resists a mud shots and results skull bash. So you lose against Excavalier, Ma Champ. You beat Shadow Champ up a shield, so keep that in mind. You lose against regular version, but you beat the Shadow version. You lose against all the pseudo fighters. So you pretty much you win every matchup but the pseudo fighters and Driflim. That's pretty much it. I think you could yeah, the pseudo fighters and Driflim. Up two shields, I don't think I don't think you can lose to anything but Driflim. No, you actually still be Driflim. So up two shields, you'll beat everything in the meta. So if you have two shields, Buffalat will run through everything in the meta. There's nothing that beats you. And is there anything that comes close? No, you well, Driflim's probably the only one, but up two shields, like up two shields, you're pretty you have a huge up up one shield you have a huge advantage. Up two shield, you pretty much beat everything. So you beat everything. So just be care just keep a mindful of that. Buffalant looks to be very, very good in this meta. Except for the other two variations. It looks like the other very two variations do have some losing matchups. But other than that, two shields with Skull Bash and Stomp will just absolutely wreck the meta. Alright, in summary, Buffalant is pretty dang good as a switch. I'm going to do a test video. I'm going to do a test battle while... Or just do a training sim with... Oh god, this is a horrible leap. Anyways, Buffalant looks to be a very good switch. It's able to beat a lot of things in the lead. As well as a closer. Unless you get one of these things and they just absolutely get destroyed. Like this is just. Oh this is all bad yo. Yeah this is really bad. Okay so I'm going to try to bait with. Okay so we got to beat. Oh man. Oh boy. Okay this is not good. So like I said Buffalo is pretty good. If you can avoid fighting types like you do here. This is. Yeah this is probably a good example of how you get screwed. I probably should have went for the skull bash there. If I went for the skull bash I'd be. In... So it looks like what you like. It like it's really it's really good in the switch if you take a look at the Sims. Now when you get locked into a Machamp though, dude, this thing just absolutely wrecks your wrecks your world. If that Skull Bash actually went through, this would have been a lot better of a matchup to be honest with you. So let's just hope we can get some shields here or do enough damage to where, because we're not gonna win switch. Well, you can. So I'm not. So this is a good test to see like how good Buffaland is versus. So Machamp is obviously gonna take this match. Now, Machamp is very strong with shields, so we managed to get both shields, which is great. I'm going to send Venusaur in, and we get their Venusaur. Their Venusaur. Now, Venusaur has entered. Now, if we take out the Venusaur, I might be able to take out whatever's in the back with Swampert. So, let's take what we have here. 
Anyway, Buffalo looks pretty good. As a switch, as you see there, we managed to break both shields, but I definitely should have went Skull Bash first. If you do end up getting locked into a fighter, it looks like if you Skull Bash, it might go... You, like, going for the Skull Bash player might be worth it. But again, that's up to you. It just really depends. Take a look, see what your team needs, and run your preferred Afro Bison, Iron Bison, Burger move set the way you want to do it because like i said it's going to be this meta is going to, this meta is pretty is super diverse ultra is extremely diverse you don't want to really like you want you want to formulate a team that you like like a lot of people ask me like what's your like what's a good team in your opinion etc and i'm like it just really depends what you like because like that's oh this is great okay they might try to switch out okay they do so I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get. Well, here's the problem. This is this Swampert is in Shadow, so Shadow Swampert will actually KO a Charizard. Regular Swampert does not. So I'm gonna try to get. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. I might be able to get. Yeah, we're in trouble here. That's a. Yeah, we're in trouble here. So as you see, Buffaline is very good in the switch, but Machamp is any fighter is just super oppressive. We might actually be able to take the W here, but I'm pretty sure I died to that Dragon Claw. Should have got a little more energy, but I kind of lost track of how much damage that, how much damage Machamp does. But I think Dragon Claw does KO at this range, and that's a GG's. As you see here, this is probably a perfect example. Just be really careful and mindful that if you do encounter a fighter or get locked into a fighter, going for the Skull Bash might be the right play. Also, Buffalon, you know what? I'm going to stop bleeding Swamperts. Yeah, yeah. Let's try to switch and see what we get. Please don't switch in a fighter. And we get Opsigoon. Okay, this is even worse because Opsigoon actually beats us as well. This is what's kind of bad. So we're going to go to the Skull Bash. I'm going to go straight for Skull Bash. We could, get, we could go straight for the Skull Bash. Buffalon is also only in available regions like New York. I think it's in New York and like surrounding cities. So like... You definitely should really take a look at what you want to do as far as, like, if you have a friend that can give you one, that's great. If they, you don't have a friend that can give you one, then it's up to you. But it looks, Buffalo looks to be a really great switch. As you see here, we get to these stomps really quickly, and Skull Bash does add that extra defense to allow us to survive more damage. We managed to break a shield here. They're going to blow their energy. That's fine. I would actually prefer, I actually prefer this. We don't want our we don't want Swampert in any shape or form against the Venusaur. So we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna throw this. I should have Earthquake on this Swampert. I don't know why I have Earth. I don't know I have Sludge Wave. I forgot to give it. I forgot to give. But we have two shields. So here's hoping that they switch their Venusaur into us. And this Obstagoon just ops is just gonna throw all his energy at our Swampert. That's fine i want to get energy on swampert and lay save the two shields for for whatever's in the back so we're gonna we're gonna try to get to two hydro cannons here fire one actually i'm just gonna back to back back to back and have venusaur up with two shields that's probably our best play in this scenario because we're gonna ko the obstacle with this shot they switch into a togekiss okay this is actually really good because now they're switch locked here we do some chip damage with the Togekiss, because I do believe that it takes a little bit more damage before you can actually KO with Togekiss. So we get Togekiss. I'm going to get to, I'm going to overcharge just a little bit of energy past the Sludge Bomb, and then we'll fire. There you go. Now we have two shields against the Venusaur, and we should win this. Like like you see here, Buffalad is really good. I would go straight for the Skull Bash, because if they don't shield, you do a lot of damage. If they do shield, then you get that defense buff, but it looks like, it looks like... That going for that defense buff actually won us this match. So I'm going to be careful here because they might throw in the Obstagoon. So we're going to shield everything the Venusaur throws at us. And then we're just going to sludge bot. We're going to, we're going to, we'll save our energy for the. Okay, perfect. Let's throw our energy here and then we'll be fine. But again, Buffalant looks to be an incredible switch. As you saw there. Uh, if you get locked into a fighter, it's going to suck. But there was a way we could have won. We just didn't... Yeah, we just didn't play really well. Again, it's also kind of expensive. So if you do end up wanting to get one, just keep in mind you're going to spend a, quite a bit of dust to get it. And possibly rare caddies, depending on like where you get it. If you live in the New York area, I can see it working really well for you. If you don't, then it's going to suck. It's going to suck a little bit. I'll shield this one. We don't want Venusaur to take damage. And... We're going to try to just farm down here. Alright, we farm down, and then we get to... We should be able to live one Night Slash, and then I can get to the Frenzy Plant for the GG's. 
But yeah, Buffalo Line is good as a switch. Best used as a switch, average in all other areas. But other than that, as you see here, we lost the lead, but Flefflat managed to get his, get it back for us. So as long as you manage, like we still, even if it's Opsagoon, like that was, it was, this was actually a really comfortable match. Bufflat was able to break both shields. Skullbash allowed us to get that extra squeeze for damage. So in summary, Bufflat is really, is fantastic as a switch. Does take a little bit of energy management for you to basically squeeze out like matchups like how you saw the first match. But other than that, Bufflat is really good. Again, if you do have one, I'm super jelly. Afro Bison looks to be really good for Ultra Premiere. And I will see you on my next video analysis. If you do have one, good luck. I hope it works well for you. And I will see you guys again on my next video. And you guys have a wonderful day.